Good morning. So I woke up and I made my lime water and now I'm prepping bananas for the freezer because I woke up and they're all they're all starting to ripen already and if I don't start freezing them right away I'll end up wasting some so I did a lot. There's a lot here but I'm gonna have to freeze these tonight and then freeze some more tomorrow. I'm gonna see how many of these I can eat today. I'm gonna make banana smoothies with greens today. That's probably what I'm gonna have all day. Cause I need to uh, make sure I don't waste them. Hey there, so my honeydews are finally ripe, yay! So I'm gonna eat one of these for breakfast and then make uh, banana green smoothies to take to work. So I'm gonna use my charred kale and spinach mix that I get from Costco. Bam! That's for you, Miss T. There's not very much in here. I guess I should put some more. I need to um, pack it in, right? And then I'm gonna have to buy some more greens because I don't have any other ones. Oh, I, well, actually, I have lettuce, but yeah, that's gonna make it all foamy and weird. So maybe I'll use that in my raw soup tonight. We'll see. Greens and water. We're gonna blend that first. <laughs> Some of these bananas are like super tiny. Makes me sad. Tiny baby bananas. I'm gonna need a lot of these. Um, I kind of lost count. I think I put in about 11 of these smaller bananas. So now that my smoothies are done, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy my melons and watch YouTube until it's time to go to work. So I saw that commercial, someone sent it to me on uh, Facebook, and at first I was really enjoying it. I was liking it because it was showing how the government, the scarecrow, watches everything you do and regulates everything that you do. It's always over your shoulder, right? Especially if you're a business person trying to run a, a small business or whatever, or just working for big corporations or whatever, you know? And then when it got to the end, I mean, and because it's showing, you know, the plight of the animals, the cows in the bit in the cages and things like that, trying to raise awareness. But then when it got to the end and it showed like it's a Chipotle commercial and it's like a commercial for a video game. Probably I haven't checked out the game yet. Probably going around teaching people how to make their own business and make their own food or whatever. But it bothered me like, sorry, I'm still eating breakfast. The reason it bothered me is because, I mean, I've always liked Chipotle. Um, I liked Chipotle before I tried to start eating plant-based. And I still like Chipotle to have their Sofritas burritos every once in a while, which are vegan burritos. But it just struck a nerve, like, so, okay, you're trying to raise awareness about using better ingredients and using, like, less GMO products and things like that. But how are you going to go and show some animals being caged and you think that just because you're sourcing ingredients from small farms or a place that says that they have free-range animals when, you know, free range is not really what people think it is. The animals are still being kept in large open, um, like, houses where there's still, there's still too many of them. They're, they might be on the ground where it's considered free range because they can move around, but it's still crowded conditions where they're walking around in their own poop and there's no grass and they're not out in the open. And people, it's not, free range is not what you think it is for most places. Maybe on a small organic farm it is, but it doesn't matter. There's no such thing as humane slaughter. It doesn't matter how you're killing the animals. If you're killing them, you're killing them, you're murdering them, and you're still eating them for pleasure when humans don't need meat to live. So it just struck a chord and it made me mad. So I shared that on both of my Facebook pages because I have two, and I just know I just want to know what you guys think about it. If you feel the same way as me, that it's just ridiculous. It's like another form of brainwashing young kids and people go play this video game, you know, and probably feel like a hero, whatever you're doing. And, and, and then they turn around and you're making food out of the animals anyway. So what's the point? It's, it's just, 
it's irritating me right now. So I just want to know what you guys think about it. So let me know in the comments. Thanks for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks so much.